Sorry about that, YouTube. Uh, the last end of my first last video got cut off, so we'll do it again. Hello, YouTube. Back to Canon Cart tutorial. <laughs> and um, I think YouTube's actually docking me subscribers every time I speak out against them. Well, I'm sorry, YouTube. It's freedom of speech. I live in America. But let's uh, see if we can get our clan mates in on this. Earlier today, I had 200. Now I'm back to 185. They really don't like that I'm speaking out against them. Oh, well. I'll keep fighting. It's Awesome Sosa again. Here we go. It's Canon Court Cart Tutorial Part 2. Here we go. Uh, let's actually use this to help. Uh, see, here's an Earth Plus to the Canon Cart. Okay. Sorry, boys. Not happening. But you can use the cannon cart to stop a balloon if they're leading it off with troops. Like, um, like if they're like they were doing there, they were leading to tr the troops in. It was leading the troops. Oh, shoot, they had troops in front of the ones that they was using to attack the uh, front of the uh, crown tower. And just like I did there, if a knight was to charge a cannon cart, it would bust and break, and it'd be back shooting still. So that's what the biggest one of the pluses of having a cannon cart. Well, they get in time. Kill it in time. Come on, guys, kill it. Ugh. My ally didn't even pay attention to the wizard. Sosa. Oh, well, let's rematch it. Yeah, they played a wizard on Lafsida. I was trying to pay attention, but I didn't have anything I could play. Come on. Okay, we're getting a rematch. So, so, I don't want to be a mean to my allies, my clan members, but I couldn't do anything about the wizard, and I was hoping he would. But it didn't happen that way. It doesn't really matter. We lost. But um, with the cannon cart, I like to lead it off with a uh, golem. As you see, it's in my hand currently. And they've played the baby dragon. I'm going to use this cannon to distract the uh, balloon there. And it didn't work. I guess it wasn't close enough. Oh, uh, it looks like we're losing another tower. Try and counter it, but it's not going to help. I'm going to push these guys back. Looks like I finally got the giant's attention on the cannon. So at least we distract the giant. But um, I'm going to use a ice wizard here. You see... As the cannon cart rolls along behind allies, it shoots anything that's in front of them. And it has a range of 5.5, which is five squares, I'm guessing. So basically from right across the bridge. Seriously, game? Let me play my cannon cart already. See how it just automatically turned? And now that it's locked onto the tower, unless they zap it, which you can reset a, a target when you zap it. Um, you can reset its target. Her, yeah, you like for instance, you zap an inferno dragon, it retargets automatically. Same with the cannon cart, and that's why I put that cannon down there as a defensive unit to drive back my opponent. And now we've got the giant, he's focused, the giants refocused onto the cannon cart, but now he's got to deal with all the other troops that are in front of him. Sosa's going to go for the left side, that's fine by me. I'm going for the right side. I'm going to play another cannon as a defensive unit here. And they focus. Now I'm going to put this cannon cart right behind the ice wizard. By making this a mobile cannon, when a normal cannon would be placed right on the edge, this cannon can actually roll up onto the tower. 
and shoot it. So, inevitably, that's what brought the wind to us. It's because the cannon was a good defensive unit as well as an offensive unit. That's what the cannon cart does. It defends while attacks. It attracts the attention of loons when it, or balloons when it busts. Um, because it becomes a regular a grounded cannon, just like a regular cannon. Down there, ain't fucking there. Oh, fuck. I'm making a video. It's okay. But, um... Try calling him. But, um... Not only is it defensive, it's offensive. That's what they changed about the cannon cart. Normally you would use a cannon to defend your area, like what I'm about to do with this cannon here. See, that'll attract the attention of anything that wants to shoot at it. While a cannon cart would be, while a regular cannon would be, how can I explain this? Let's see if we take a tower, hold on. Oh, great, it's Pekka. Yeah, keep shooting that tower. These are spirit goblins for counter here. I'm gonna move this. No, 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 nope. Shoot, this is not good. Cannon. That Pekka gives the tower. It's over. Yep, he's taking our tower. But the, the Pekka refocused on my cannon. There's how it can be used defensively. Now, if we were to use a cannon cart here, see a cannon cart can roll up on the tower, like this. Watch. He's now focused on the main tower, and now that he's busted, he's shooting the king tower. He becomes a unit that can go inside the red. Where you can't normally place a unit, he can go. And if he busts while in that area, he becomes an offensive, defensive unit, if that makes any sense. Because he constantly attacks... And he makes enemies target him. It's basically, um, he's cannon fodder. Quite literally. Sure. But, um, the cannon cart can roll into the enemy territory, get busted, and it becomes a defensive unit within range. Imagine having a mobile Inferno Tower. We've already got the mobile Tesla with the Sparky, with the Zappies. Now we have the mobile cannon. Will the next one be a mobile uh, inferno? That'd be a good theory video. But as you can see, the cannon cart has busted and it's still shooting the tower. His dragon couldn't take it out in time. So, that is the best way, I think, to use the cannon cart. We'll do one more game. And um, we're gonna call it here after this, this battle. Make sure you get that closed up, all right? Hold on real quick, guys. I'm back. Yep, yep. That fridge just stinks. Let's be real here, Damon. But um, no, we're, the cannon cart is both offensive and defensive. It's basically what I'm trying to get at. It's offensive. It, it uh, can attack. But it also defends. So, I really don't know how to explain it other than that. Like a regular cannon would defend your towers like this one does. That one not only can defend your towers... It can actually attack your opponent's towers. So, yeah, that's the best way to explain it. And you see how that minion was attracted to the regular cannon? That's because it's a, a unit. It's a defense unit, and the minion wants to kill it so it can get to the tower. While a cannon cart is both in one. So it's literally... It's like taking... A car. My battery's low. I'm glad to end this video anyway soon. 
um, it's like taking a car and turning it into an airplane. Why, it, like it could still drive, but it becomes a, uh, yeah, good, bust it. And now we'll put this can down here. Give me the pack even more problems. Um, it can bust, or it, you can um, fly the car and you can drive the car. All right, it's like that. All right, that's the best way to explain it. But I gotta hurry this up, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna end the video here, y'all. I hope you understood what I was trying to say, and if you didn't, I'll try and redo it again. I'll catch y'all later. Later.